an Uga horn, and it's got a plug in it. And so I'm like, we got to record this. I want to I wanna plug it in, and I want to hear this Uga horn. I thought I got electrocuted. <laughs> but we're going to make something super cool, super awesome. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never in my life tried this before. Never. Never in my life tried this before. But I watched a video of a guy online make this, and, and he, he made it just fine. So we're going to try and see if I can make it like he did. So he did, what he did is he went to his local hardware store, which he used Lowe's. I went to a Do It Best Center, and I bought six yardsticks. Now, actually, I didn't buy them because the lady was like, I went to scan them, and she was like, well, there's no barcode. and uh, Or I was like, there's no barcode, and she's like, well, we usually just give them away. I'm like, well, that's fine, but I'm buying six of them. And so I'm like, surely you got to charge me something. And she was like, nah, just go ahead. So I got all six of these for free. So if this doesn't work out, I'm not going to be out any money. Uh, but I'm going to try this. I'm taking these six yardsticks. And I really don't know if this is going to work. Because when I stack them up and I get them level. Let me get my uh, level here. Where am I going to go? I'll use my C square. So if I get these all level to where they're all the same, I'll show you here in just a second. Get them level. Bring the camera in because I can't zoom. I got them all level I'm using my speed square right here. They're all the same. I take the speed square off. They're all the same. But if you look through here, there's a big gap. And another one right there. And I can squeeze them together. And I still got gaps. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. But it worked for him. So we're going to try it. So I got wood glue. And I'm going to take wood glue. And I'm going to put it on this one. And then this one. So I got wood glue on the top of all of them but the last one. And so I'm going to take this one and set it on top. Take this one, set it on top. And my last one and set it on top. Square them up the best I can. Get them a square. Where this can be, and then I'm just gonna go through and clamp them all down. Trying to, oh, it's one to roll. I want to try to keep this as straight as possible, all the way across. Adjusting it as I go. I just don't think this is going to work. Got them all clamped. So you can put some extra on the other sides. I'm 
Alright, I'm going to take some paper towels. And I'm going to clean off any of the excess glue you're sticking out. Clean it off now while it's wet so it's a little bit easier once it dries. Let me get some more clamps. Just a little off at the bottom. Trying to get it as straight level as can be. That's better. That's better. Through that one. That is glued and clamped and pretty good. Pretty even on both sides. Not too shabby. Okay, so now, close that, move my speed square. Ah, that was wet. <laughs> Clean my hands. All right. So, I've got six yardsticks glued together and clamped. And now we get to hurry up and wait. So, while we're waiting on this to... Uh, uh, ooh wee while we're waiting on this to dry, I'm out here playing with my balls, <laughs> my cannonballs, or uh, I don't know, maybe they're not cannonballs because I just dropped it and I didn't blow up. So maybe they're ball bearings, but I don't know. I'm finding all kinds of cool stuff out here in the garage, and we also found <coughs> an ooga horn, and it's got a plug in it, and so I'm like... 
we gotta record this. I wanna, I wanna plug it in, and I wanna hear this ooga horn. <laughs> I thought I got electrocuted. <laughs> I've got to figure out what to do with this. That's got to be, oh, I don't know, but that's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, I love finding old cool stuff. <laughs>